This is the device I was using. So we rent these out and we sell them. I'm, this is not me trying to sell it to you. It's just giving you an indication of, you could borrow it from us, we wouldn't charge you. You connect it to the water source, measure your pressure, and then this measures your flow, right? So old school house, you stick it under the tap, turn the bucket on, time how long it takes to fill up. That gives us liters per minute. We'd need that information, scale, diagram, specification, how you want it watered, and then we can do a design, no worries. Commercially, we use these because we get an actual accurate flow and add a pressure. So we measure the static, which is when it's fully closed, get the pressure, note it down, open that up a little bit, and the gauge will move down. So it'll go to two, three, 400 kPa, then we'll measure the flow at that, and we'll get a few touch points. So 300 kPa, 400 kPa, and 200 kPa. So we might have 60 liters a minute, 80 liters a minute, 100 liters a minute, and we can use that curve to design the irrigation. So that's um, something worth you guys knowing. We would, if we were commissioned to do a design for the council, we'd probably go do that. Um, but if you are having troubles with sprinklers not popping up, or uh, then the spray pattern's not doing what it's supposed to be doing, and it has been designed, and it did have a pressure test done at some point, the likelihood is that, that it's changed somehow. So there's too much pressure or not enough pressure, and things aren't popping up because they say water have tuned it down because their pipes are blowing and they don't want to pay to fix the pipes, or someone's tapped onto it to, I don't know, fill up or to do another oval. Say like you get, you got all those ovals next to each other. You might've had it all working fine and then they finished that one and now they're trying to water it at the same time. So there's, there's, there's a, a massive science behind, behind what we do. Everything we sell has uh, data around how much water it uses, how much it throws, what its rainfall equivalent is. So we can, we calculate how it works. You install it exactly how it says on the piece of paper and it should just work. If it doesn't, we can then work backwards. And I'll talk a bit about that at the end around troubleshooting, but you should always be able to work out what's going on.